Which voices are guiding your choices? How often does the voice of fear replace God's truth? Welcome back to Life as God Intended. We're continuing our series, Listening to the Voice of God, Recognizing Truth in a World of Noise. Today's episode, titled Recognizing Voices, Discernment in a World of Distraction, helps us identify the voices that influence us every day and learn how to tune our hearts to God's Spirit. Each day, we encounter influences that shape our choices. But not every voice leads us towards God. In today's broadcast, we'll learn to recognize the difference between God's voice and other influences. There are two primary sources of influence. God's Spirit and the enemy's deception. In Genesis 3.17, Adam listened to a voice other than God's, which led to a broken relationship and the catastrophic consequences of the fall, which we were all recipients of. We also face these kinds of choices daily in our lives. Let me make two key points. Number one, how do we avoid distractions? Well, like the apostles who obeyed God over man in Acts chapter 5, verse 29, they discerned God's voice that required them to tune out worldly distractions. You and I have the same opportunity. The second key point is spirit-to-spirit -spirit communication. What do I mean by that? Hearing God is not typically sensory, but happens spirit to spirit. Romans 8.26 assures us that the Spirit, that is the Holy Spirit, intercedes beyond words, guiding us inwardly in ways that require a receptive, softened heart. It's important that we understand voice recognition. First of all, the voice of God, which is most important, leads with peace, truth, and Christ's character. Secondly, the voice of the enemy. It's important that we recognize that as well. Often brings doubt, fear, and confusion. And what many think is that they have their own voice. But what I'd like to help clarify is that Ours is a derived voice. In other words, when you think you're thinking on your own, it reflects either your trusting in God or misplaced self-reliance on other voices that are not of God. Picture yourself using a GPS while driving. You're uncertain about the route, but you trust the GPS to lead you. Which voices are guiding your choices? How often does the voice of fear replace God's truth? Let me challenge you this week. Practice recognizing the difference between these voices and where they're coming from. Ask God to reveal any influence that isn't from Him and seek wisdom to discern his truth. Join us next time for Hearing God's Communication in Every Season, where we'll discuss how God's voice changes in different seasons of life. That might have been something you hadn't thought of before. But remember, God is always guiding us, inviting us to trust him. If you found this video helpful, Please like, share, subscribe to Life as God Intended. And don't forget to leave me your comments and questions below. As always, I love hearing from you.